Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I am in Singapore right now, and you know what that means. We're gonna go look for some fabric. So, let's get going. <laughs> So there are a ton of places that we can look at for fabric in Singapore. And you might have seen in one of my previous videos that I went to the People's Park, which is where I went to last time I was in Singapore. But there are like six other spots. So we're gonna try and hit at least two or three today. And the first place we're going is Arab Street. Okay, so I have finally got to Arab Street. We're gonna go check out the area and see what kind of fabric stalls there are. But first impressions, I've just come to like this one area where there's like loads of restaurants. There's like a huge mosque in the background. It's actually really, really pretty here. Lots to take pictures of. So if you're all about that Instagram life, you should probably come here, it's pretty good. time to look around Arab Street. Um, there are a lot of fabric stores here. I just spent like an hour just walking down just one side and there's still the other side of the road to go. It seems to be a ton of laces and like the beautiful like wedding laces, the embroidered laces, the beaded laces, any kind of lace. You're probably gonna find it here. This is also another really good place if you are looking for like um, Middle Eastern rugs and uh, like furniture, like check out this light store. Yeah, you find a lot of that here. And a lot of rugs, a lot of lamps, lanterns. So if you're going for that like Moroccan feel, you can find the stuff for your Moroccan decor right here on this road, which is great. There is also, at the end of the street, a whole bunch of cafes and little restaurants. And they're all like really cool. There's like a Swedish themed one. There's like a few Moroccan places. You've got a few like uh, shisha bars around here. It's just generally really, really nice and all in the backdrop of like these giant, giant skyscraper type residential buildings. I've literally only come to this place first and like I can't buy any fabric because I've still got three more places to go and like if I buy everything here then well this video is over right now. <laughs> So it is just started raining. I believe it's about to be a huge thunderstorm. The thunder is rolling in hard. And uh, you know, I kind of like it. It's like got a lot cooler. The rain is like, it's not exactly cold. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna walk around in the rain for a bit until I get too wet. And then we're gonna carry on with the fabric shopping. Maybe try a different area because it's quite overwhelming here. There is a lot. Did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> okay, it's really starting to rain now, so we are making our way over to the next place. Uh, luckily for me, this is not that far away, and it's inside, so uh, we're just kind of walking through these streets right now. These buildings are so beautiful. I'm obsessed with like all these little colonial looking buildings next to these like giant skyscrapers i mean like look at this look at it it's huge what planet did that come from planet singapore that's where we are planet singapore that's what it feels like sometimes okay we're nearly there let's go okay that's where we need to go and it's really starting to rain now i'm getting quite wet this entire building and there's like nine floors but I haven't found any fabric stores hmm there are basically like two one is just like cottons and the other one is like a tailor's so I think I might have the wrong place there. okay I was wrong 
I was in the wrong building, but I'm in the right building now. I know that because it's still in the end of the right place. Yay, let's go fabric shopping. Wow, the shine is real. Okay, strange thing, nothing seems to be open. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Closed. Closed. It's like walking through no man's land. Maybe I came on the wrong day because everything is closed, but the center's still open. This is confusing, guys. Confusing. Well, not only is it confusing, I am now lost. I cannot find the way out. You may never see me again. Okay, I found one place that's open. I spoke to them and basically all of this area is wholesale stuff. So this is really good if like you're a designer or you're like buying in bulk, you can buy stuff on the roll here, but I don't think they do things like buy the meter. So on to the next place. Found the haberdashery of my dreams. I'm going in. Alright, alright, the thunderstorm is over, I've had some lunch and I managed to find the indoor textile place. Unfortunately, most of it was wholesale and closed, so it was like walking around like a dead town. But downstairs there were a couple of haberdasheries, which are like wholesale haberdasheries, so I uh, stocked up on zippers in every single colour. I'm very happy. So uh, I couldn't film in there because they don't allow filming, but I will show you when I get back to the hotel the stuff that I picked up. Okay, on to the next place. Okay, so I got a little bit distracted in the Arab Quarter. I'm sorry, but it's really nice there. So I got a pedicure, I did a bit of shopping because they have like a whole bunch of like cool vintage shops and stuff. It's actually a really, really nice area. Definitely take it out if you're out here. And yeah, there's like 8,000 million fabric shops. Now I am back in the Farrah Park, Little India area where my hotel is. I just dropped off some bags, but there is another place quite near where I am now where we can go get some fabric. It's called the Mustafa Center. And in the Mustafa Center, sorry, I'm crossing the road. In the Mustafa Center, it's like a 24 hour giant shopping center, but there are a lot of fabrics in there. So we're gonna go check it out and see, uh, see what the crack is. Woo, swam, swam. Okay, so I'm in the Mustafa Center and this place is insane. I don't really know how to describe it. It's everything, it's like the whole world is in here the entire world. It's crazy. Okay, so I finally found the section where like the clothes and stuff are. It's also where the fabric is. It's in the basement and uh, well, this is just one section that I'm in. There is a lot here. Like, this is all of this. All of that. Bandana. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can find, because I think, I'm pretty sure I can find stuff. I can already see like 30 things that I wanna look at, but I feel like you could live in here and just get completely lost. It's crazy. How, 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 help me. Ah. At least this is way more organized than that place in Hong Kong that I showed you guys, because that is not organized. So I feel less anxiety here. <laughs> tired <laughs> wow okay so i'm back at the hotel now i'm just kind of like laying on the bed i have done so much i just checked how much i've walked today and it is 22 thousand steps my little feet have basically carried me i think it's like 17k that's like a lot to just like walk um with fabric in your hand so 
so yeah i'm back i thought i'd do a really quick like fabric haul i literally only got one fabric and then i got a few like haberdashery type things but i will show you right now before i sign off this video i'm so excited because i, I really cannot wait to wear this mm. ah, as you can see i got myself some pineapples yep it's yellow of course it's got a weird print on it of course you know i'm gonna be all over this i plan to basically copy excuse my mess basically copy this outfit that i have on now because i really really like this play suit and i got this from stradivarius um it's just like it's nice and loose it's like really nice but it's just like really easy peasy to make so um i might just use it as a pattern and uh make myself another little yellow jumpsuit because this is so cute i also picked up a pair of scissors um i've always wanted a pair of scissors like this with like the really big like loops um and these are really really pretty they're like quite ornate Let's see if i can uh, zoom in for you so they're really really pretty and they look very very sharp so uh that's going to be going in the checked bag because this is this won't be allowed to be in hand luggage but um yeah so i got that and i think that was like four dollars so that's like two pounds or something and then um, at the haberdashery, I picked up a whole load of invisible zippers. Now, you can usually find invisible zippers like wherever you are, but they don't always have like every color. And they usually have like the base colors, but like sometimes you want like, you know, a yellow to match this yellow, like exactly. And like all you can find is like baby yellow. So the woman had in her haberdashery, it was like a wholesale. So she had every every size in every color just like boxes of them and uh these ones were 16 inch and they were ten dollars for a dozen so ten dollars for 12 basically 16 inch so i got 24 and i basically got two of each color so i got two khaki green ones uh two of this like nudie blush, like the same color as my nails see this nudie like blush color two of this uh it's like a smoky blue slash gray color uh let's see two of these like tangerine orange ones uh two of this like teal two of like a lighter blue teal uh we've got two yellows uh what else have we got here uh two baby pinks two like proper oranges uh two forest greens there's like loads here so i basically got two of each color because normally i have enough fabric to make more than one thing so it's very likely i might need a zip for at least one or two of those things so i picked that up but i'm really happy with my purchases that is it for today's video i just wanted to just show you a quick you know little what i did and also where can you buy fabric i didn't get to hit everywhere um so if i do decide over the next couple of days to go to another place i will do a little top-up video and show you um where else you can get fabric okay. That is it for this time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next video.